Mother Nature screwed me hard. What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, this week, we got pretty much nothing done. <laughs> um, if you're in the Midwest, in the Northeast, Mother Nature screwed us hard this week. So, for the first time in my life, there was no mail delivery at all. In fact, I saw a mailman and asked him, and I was like, I've never seen the mail not come for snow. And he's like, neither have I. And I've been doing this for 25 years. So, I have a lot of ordered parts sitting in limbo all across the country. Like five or six different orders that just haven't come in that were supposed to come in this week. But, we did get the rear fender painted. The seat finally showed up, so the holes are drilled for that. That will be going on on Monday. Battery box is painted. And the battery hold down is painted. It has been a complete cluster all week. Trash service has not been running here at the shop, so we have a bunch of trash there. Trash can overflowing over there. Nothing. This is just, it has been one crappy week. So, what did we get done? Well, gas tank got mounted. Seat went back on. Can't put the oil tank yet, though, because all my oil fittings and oil lines are in limbo, and I don't want to put it on just to take it back off to put three oil fittings on. Started to wire everything, but I can't finish wiring until everything is together. Um, I can't put the rear wheel on until that fender is done and that fender is going to be curing for another couple days before I put it on. can't put the chain on because I can't put the rear wheel on and I can't get the sprocket right here off because that socket is in limbo as well as my chain tool. This week has completely sucked. Uh, front wheel. This wheel is bent. I've just been using it for mock-up purposes. My new front wheel, stuck in limbo. Uh, my rear tire, stuck in limbo. What else? Oh, fuel petcock, fuel lines, all that. So, <laughs> it has been a crummy week. But, on Monday, I did get to go ride for a little bit. Got to try out my new helmet, which is sitting right there. Let you guys try to figure out what that new helmet is. In fact, comment below what do you think that helmet is. So, got to go out, ride with that for about 30 minutes on Monday. Yeah, you know, it was cold out. I think it was in the high 40s. I've definitely rode in colder. But uh, this helmet right here, I absolutely loved. It was super comfortable, but with only 30 minutes of riding, can't quite give a review yet, and I'm not even revealing it yet. It's, it's over here. My workbench is finally empty, so I need to go ahead and get that cleaned up. A lot of stuff to do, but can't really get much done. So, I uh, reached out to uh, Flat Out Friday, and uh, as you guys know, we will be at the Mama Tried Motorcycle Show. And uh, we have tickets to Flat Out Friday. I reached out to them trying to get media credentials. I put in an application. They're only approving six people. Highly doubt I'm going to get selected. If I do get selected, I will bring you guys some awesome video. If not, I'll shoot some stuff on my phone. We do have front row seats at Flat Out Friday right on the first quarter. So I should be able to get some pretty good video. Who knows if there's a good enough connection. Maybe I'll try to live stream a little bit of it. But... We are kind of screwed right now. We did get the engine put in. My wife helped me with this. We did this on Tuesday, which was my birthday. And, uh, yeah, that sucked. It took about 15 minutes to wrestle that in. And uh, these engines weigh about 200 pounds. So I got that wrestled in place. Did not video that. If you want to see what it looked like, close your eyes. Imagine a chimpanzee dry humping a football, and that's going to be pretty close to what it was. Uh, what else did I get done? Oh, I put a clutch lever on. Like, none of the stuff was like video worthy. And uh, yeah, I know this video sucks. But I'm doing what I can with what I got this week. Mother Nature screwed me 
hard. If you follow us on social media, which you should, just links are in the description below. While you're at it, bang the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. All that's helping the channel grow. We are growing, and that is because of each and every one of you. But we got about 8 inches of snow here. All in all, 8 inches of snow isn't that horrible. We've had more. But if you uh, follow on Instagram, you saw the pictures in front of the door and the garage door here at the shop. We had about a 3-foot snow drift, so I had to shovel through all that just to get in. And yeah, it has been a total crap show. So, I guess we're going to keep this video short. There's not a whole lot to show you this week. Sorry. But next week, we should have the bike running. And uh, it won't be riding yet because I still have to uh, measure for my rear brake lines and get that all uh, ordered. But we should be able to start the bike. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. Who knows? The only concern I have with starting this thing I'm confident in my abilities to put this engine together I am a trained mechanic but these seals right here for these uh, push rods it seems like even like seasoned Harley guys have issues with them leaking so we're gonna see if I got screwed and they leak um, I have to tear the rockers back off to be able to get those out and reseal them not really wanting to do that but, hey, if it does, it's content, right? I guess that's going to uh, effectively wrap this video up. It's a short one. I know it's a whole lot of yap, yap, yap. Really nothing going on. So I will see you guys next week, hopefully with a running chopper and a lot better video. So, again, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, follow us on social media, check out our company website, hotheadstalls.com, and I will catch you in the next one. I am out of here.